Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 13th of July. This week begins with Mercury finding its way forwards after that long retrograde. It's still in the sign of Cancer and it won't come out of shadow until the 26th of this month. So there can still be a need for us to be very precise in the way we express our emotional communication particularly. And of course anything to do with documentation, uh, the detail that can go awry if we're distracted. So that stuff continues to be important. However, the quarter moon, which occurred at the end of last week, does provide a backdrop for the whole of this week. That was in the sign of Aries, which is very much to do with the now. It's about our need to be very much in the present, whereas the sun, of course, is in the more nurturing sign of Cancer. So they're both cardinal. So there's a bit of a battle here between the sun's primacy about wanting us to focus on how we can take careful steps to nurture and the moon's need to act instantly. So if we are a bit rash, it could come back on us a little bit. And this is a week that does require some care because the sun is going to be going into an opposition with Jupiter, Pluto, and then in the last couple of days, also Saturn. So the uh, dust up that's been going on through the eclipse series over the last couple of years between the sign of Cancer and the sign of Capricorn all is going to be repeated once more but of course we've also got Mars in the mix as well in the sign of Aries well that doesn't come into connection with these influences quite yet it actually forges a very neat tie with Venus so if you're lucky enough to be able to socialize or connect at some kind of level depending on the COVID restrictions wherever you are locally then that can be delightful but I do feel that the balance between making sure that we're safe and well emotionally and physically in terms of the sun in cancer and being more aware of our worldly interactions and protecting our interests financially coming through Capricorn is a balance we need to find. There could be some push-pull energy this week. We may encounter someone who's a bit strident, a bit forceful, a bit opinionated or dogmatic, but we also have to be conscious of our own energy too. Your specific forecast Aquarius continues to see Mars and Venus in a splendid alliance. Great for flirty chit-chat, but there is a quarter moon in Aries as this week begins, angles to the sun, third, sixth house, set your boundaries clearly when it comes to achieving practical things. If you try to cram in too much and don't prioritise, you could end up this week feeling a bit stressed. Also, as much as you may want to focus on the more practical side of situations, with Mercury now travelling forwards, a more psychological or historical issue could really be clouding your sense of purpose and coming back into play in a way that you thought you got uh, seen the back of once Saturn moved into Aquarius on the 22nd of March. But unfortunately, from now through to the 16th of December, it is possible for us Aquarius people to still have to grapple with this rather tricky issue, which may be, as I say, historical, it may be psychological, it may be where other people seem to have power over of us, over us, but not necessarily in a very just way. The great news about this week, however, is that if you're aware of this, you can then guard yourself Keep your boundaries strong from anyone who drains out your energy too easily. It's been a real pleasure you being with me. If you'd like to know more and ascend above your zodiac sign, please check out my affordable range of personal horoscope reports beneath this video. You can also grab yourself a special offer of 30% off. Or if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one with me, please check out my testimonials. Also, you can chat with me directly on Twitter or please join Elisa and I for our daily video astrology and tarot show. Please see the link below as well. But for now, stay safe, take care and goodbye.